We are currently completing our Wren kitchen insulation. And one major issue that we've had, uh, and this has nothing to do with the Wren kitchen itself, but it has to do with our refrigerator. This is a Samsung French door refrigerator. Um, this is the model number right here. Um, we previously purchased this um, and the kitchen that it was in um, had it was replacing a sub-zero. So it's a very wide cavity that it was replacing. So the issue that we're encountering um, was unnoticeable until now. With this Ren kitchen, during design, we provided the actual model number of the refrigerator and the design was built around it. In this particular case, we have a 36 inch cabinet, 36 inch cavity for a 36 inch refrigerator, um, which in this case should be 35 and a quarter inches in width, um, allowing for some movement so we can put it in and out. We also referenced um, documentation prior to creating the kitchen. Uh, you know, the, the computer system at Ren had already the dimensions and what fits and what doesn't fit. But this is an actual document from Samsung which says width fits 36 inch opening. And there's the actual units, 35 and a quarter. It's document from Samsung. The actual document's called Will It Fit PDF? Okay, and it's for exactly this purpose, explaining how to install and so on. It also goes and talks about any actual manual and uh, giveaways, um, the product information guides from Samsung. Uh, and if you also go to the website itself, you'll see pictures of a very snug fitting um, Samsung refrigerator, this particular model. However, here's the issue. It bulges. And when it bulges, it bulges. You can see here, you have your quarter inch, which is on both sides, but then it's tight. It gets tight, and being that it's a French door and it has a freezer, it tightens up up here and it loosens up again here. So the issues that are a problem are right in the center of the bulges of both of the refrigerator cavities. You can really see it on this side. Again, there's your quarter inch spacing and it tightens, then loosens up again, kind of like a girdle, and tightens up again. That's the freezer cavity. So it's clear that the refrigerator bulges. Bulges kind of like a feminine shape. The problem is, it's very difficult to bring in and out and we can't open our wonderful pull-out large drawer because it's tight. It's being forced closed. So we followed the documentation. There is no special cabinet made for bulging refrigerators. It's a 36 inch cabinet. What about people who have existing inch, 36 inch cavities in their kitchens? The refrigerator is supposed to fit that. Now, the results, the, when we are inquiring about this, because we can't, I can't finish my kitchen. This thing is sticking out quite considerably because I can't get it in. And I can't use this side massive drawer. So it's in its incomplete state. The suggestions I've been given is that I widen, cut this down, move that over, and or cut into, no. <laughs> this is a kitchen designed for a 36 inch refrigerator. This is a refrigerator designed to fit a 36 inch opening. Why do I have to destroy my brand new installed kitchen to fit this refrigerator. The refrigerator is designed to fit in a 36 inch cavity. So these are kind of problems that exist between manufacturers, um, distributors, sellers, installers, and so on. 
And it's frustrating for the owner because I shouldn't have to deal with this. This should work, this should fit, I should be using my kitchen, but I'm not. And I get the runaround when saying, well, you need to do this, you should have to cut this, you shouldn't install this. No, it's not my responsibility to figure out the technical stuff. That's why we have installers. Our contractor has been very patient trying to work with us. He offered to make a cut here, but I didn't pay for an adjusted kitchen to be adjusted around my refrigerator. I like to look at this. It's supposed to look like this, just like it does if you go to samson.com and look at the refrigerators there that are fitting nice and perfectly into their cabinets. The problem here is this Samsung refrigerator is defective and I'm not the only one. This should not be bulging like this. Okay, it should fit a 36 inch cavity, period. Shouldn't be adjusted, shouldn't be augmented. We shouldn't have to redesign the kitchen around the refrigerator. The refrigerator should fit a 36 cavity, just like a 24 inch dishwasher fits its cavity, or a 30 inch wall stove fits its cavity, right? Or a 30 inch microwave fits its cavity. We don't redesign the cavity for the appliance. So the issue here needs to be resolved by Samsung or a representative of Samsung. Now we've had other problems with this refrigerator, such as the ice maker frosting up and that's been repaired. And I believe it's also part of a class action lawsuit. But in this case here, what do we do? What do we do? We have a, a long-term extended warranty program with PC Richard, and they're trying their best, but they don't have the power or ability to replace the refrigerator. And it seems like that's the only solution here other than us redesigning the cabinet of which it should be fitting in. And that is not, and it should be, should not be the solution that we apply here. I don't want to have, you know, a cut out entrance way, a cut out cavity to my beautiful brand new kitchen. And what if this was a kitchen where, where an existing, another existing kitchen where they couldn't do that. So this is not a solution and there has to be a solution for this and the solution has to come from Samsung, which is why I'm filming this video. And I, I'm hoping whoever's listening to this video understand my situation, okay? I understand that there is um, all refrigerators give, but I have not seen any that is given as much as this. And this is clearly designed by documentation and we purchased this specifically so that it will fit in a finished cavity. And in particular, 36 inch cavity where it looks finished. This isn't a dormitory. This isn't a wide open space. This isn't in the middle of nowhere. It's designed to fit in a kitchen. This is not new. We're not reinventing the wheel here. This should fit. It should fit. There is no such thing as a 36 and a half or a 37 inch um, cabinet made for a refrigerator. It's a 36 inch cabinet. These refrigerators are designed to fit in a 36 inch cabinet or 24, whatever respectively is the size of the refrigerator. In this case, it's a 36 inch refrigerator with, in reality, it's 35 and a quarter, right? And it shouldn't be bulging like this. So either we put this refrigerator on Weight Watchers somehow, or it needs to be replaced. But I'm sure I'm not going to, to redesign my kitchen to fit the refrigerator. It's not fair. Other options I was told was I could sell my refrigerator. Really? I'm going to sell my refrigerator? So I have to go through the process of finding a buyer, moving this out, probably paying for someone to, to deliver it? No. 
That's not my responsibility. It's not my fault. I bought a refrigerator designed for a 36 inch cavity and it should work. It should fit. I should be using my kitchen right now. So I'm hoping again, whoever's listening, they provide me a solution to this issue and it should not require me redesigning my kitchen to do so.